Good day, collective. This is a general message for those who first name begins with the letter B as in boy or those dealing with someone who first name begins with the letter B as in boy. Not the middle name, not the last name. First name only. Letter B as in boy. This is going to be a spread to help you when you're feeling stuck between relying on old patterns or habits and developing new ones. Remember that letting go can mean something physical like a relationship, job, or objects. But the point of letting go is to make room for something new that's ready to enter your life, okay? It could be some large shifts taking place. It could be some smaller shifts taking place, all right? Remember to only take what resonates and leave what does not. Personal readings are available. The links are in the description box below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, okay? Somebody off rip is wanting to say no. <laughs> Someone does not want to reach for the stars. All right. Overall energy oracle for those who first name begins with B as in boy or those dealing with someone who first name begins with the letter B universe. What does my collective most need to know at this time for their highest and greatest good? Healing and ascending vibrating higher someone's being true to themselves someone is speaking up if this is you continue to speak up someone that you're dealing with may need to speak up the divine energy invitation for my collective to speak up is to know when you are showing yourself to the world, make sure you're being who you really are. Be authentic in your communication and do not believe you are convincing anyone with false appearances. Express your emotions rather than stuffing them with intellectual control. Stop the battle between your head and heart and allow your ego to step aside. Remember collective that your ego it's meant to assist your higher self. Your higher self is supposed to tell your ego what to do, okay? Not the other way around, okay? So there's an the energy. Someone could not be feeling well with my lady. We have room, waiting, and thief in reverse. Someone could have to go to the hospital. Someone could have might have tried to take someone else's fortune, um, theoretically or literally. And they've made themselves sick, okay? Or someone could be having to take a child to the hospital as karma. Somebody was being too haughty. Arrogant, conceited, showing off, overly ambitious. Yeah, we have doctor and child. Doctor and child. Haughtiness. Thief. Gift and money in reverse. Sorrow and messenger in the upright. Someone's child is going to get karma because their parent and or parents are not honest what is my collective those with the first letter of their first name B as in boy we have messenger you guys are going to be getting some type of communication or either this is you speaking up for yourself the energy of messenger is an announcement it could be an invitation Someone could be waiting for results or a telephone call, or there is an important message that you need to convey and let others know. We have sweetheart in reverse on the bottom of the deck and thought in the upright. So someone is thinking now, contemplating, a little indecisive to a swords energy. 
digesting information and meditating on their problems. Someone is realizing their problems. Their problems came from someone that was unlearned and not so smart with scholar in reverse. Tell me more about speak up. What else does the collective need to know about speaking up? We have messenger. What's the announcement? We have house. Someone very well could be getting an eviction notice or someone is going to have to um, do something in regards to their living situation. Someone either cannot pay their way where they are staying and someone is giving the message to them. Someone could also be uh, getting a new home or someone lied about getting a new home. Someone did not tell the truth about a situation involving a home. Yeah, the house energy is about the environment you live in. Also, family and emotional bonds. So someone may want to speak to their roommates or whoever they are living with at this present time. That would be the smart thing to do with scholar in the upright and friend. Somebody needs to speak up about a situation involving a feminine energy in the environment overall and something to do with the bond. Tell me more about a house. What do those with the first name be as in boy or those dealing with someone whose first name begins with being boy? We have hope. Someone is hopeful about a situation involving a home. And then we have priest. Someone could have possibly paid to do spell work on a roommate or on a housing situation or to try to get a new house and that wish was not fulfilled. The priest energy is about anyone involved in a uh, belief system, spirituality. There is a masculine that is retaining from having sex with someone in this situation. They're keeping hope that a thing they're going to get some type of news or a letter or a message of some sort that's going to be good news to them. If you are hoping to get a new home collective and you are high vibrational, I feel like you are going to get some messages about that. Just remember to um, be honest with whoever you are giving your paperwork to, okay? If you are a newlywed couple or you're entering a long-term commitment and you're thinking about moving in, with someone make sure you get a written lease agreement okay someone's roommate has secrets those secrets are causing unexpected changes could be a pisces involved what signs are involved who needs to speak up? Who needs to speak up? So if your first name begins with the letter B as in boy, or you are dealing with someone who name begins with B as in boy, we had Sagittarius come out with the Libra in reverse. So if there's a Sagittarius in a situation with someone that's not balanced, you need to speak up. Someone is in their emotions with uh, over uh, 
a Gemini or just over communication or possibly over some spell work that was being done uh, involving an institution, either a bank or trying to get a place or something. It could have been a Gemini, Taurus, and a Scorpio female that were trying to do spell work of some sort, moon magic in secret for a housing situation in the universe that didn't that, that didn't go in their favor. Who else needs to speak up? Taurus, speak up. Scorpio, speak up. Aries, speak up. There's an Aries hiding from a Gemini because they don't want to get unexpected changes of some sort. Or they could just be nervous because of changes that have been happening in their life. Sagittarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aries. This could be you in your guys' uh, birth chart, or these could be your sun signs. These could be the signs of the people that you do need to speak up to. Just remember to take it how it resonates for you, okay? Let's go ahead and get into what you need to release. What's ready to leave your life? It has, has been taking up too much of your attention and energy. What is ready to leave this collective's life and has been taking up too much of their attention and energy? Remember to use these messages to support yourself through changes that you're going to going through. And some of you are going to the other side after releasing some of these uh, relationships, jobs and objects that you've been needing to let go of. Be ready to welcome into your life something better. New thoughts, new ideas. What does my collective need to leave? Or what's been taking up too much time of their attention and energy? What's ready to leave this collective's life? Because it's been taking up too much of their attention and energy. First card out, we have the Seven of Swords. Sneaky lying deceptive telling white lies hoping they don't get exposed possibly telling lies about relationships we have the eight of wands in the sun card in reverse somebody has been causing drama due to lies whoever this person is it's an empress in reverse and they've been trying to do work in secret on people to get them to work with them. And they have not been getting any success or victory. Someone is spending too much time in a very low vibrational energy thinking that's how they can get new houses, new cars, new investments, and gifts in general. You can't get gifts in the Seven of Swords. So at this time, collective, you all need to release aspects of your personal life that you've been hiding. It's time to open up and have honest conversations. There's someone in your life who manipulates you, steal your ideas, or waste your time. There also could be self-deception about the truth of a relationship, situation, or behavior that will only lead to more heartbreak. We have the death card, transformation, rebirth, energy. So whenever you see this message collective, you need to know that uh, people that um, people in situations and environments that are about being sneaky and deceitful and lies and lying, it's taking up too much of your attention and energy. You guys are communicating with too many liars, too, too many low vibrational people with the messenger. You guys need to release communication with people that you know are deceptive. It's weakening you. It's weakening your intuition. So especially if you are a masculine energy, this is the strength card in reverse and the king of cups in reverse. You find yourself being melodramatic, moody, having a lot of drama, emotionally unavailable. It's because you're being manipulated. 
you have the seven of wands in reverse with the five of swords you're involved with someone or an environment that's not for your highest and greatest good some of you have already started releasing that energy and listening to your intuition and finding out I guess who's a divine feminine and who's not so that's helping you be motivated to make passionate movement forward into the actual ace of cups keep that creative energy as you're going through the wounded warrior somebody's going to get a message that they were a third party in secret the moon and the three of cups third party doesn't necessarily have to be romantically we have the six of swords and the lovers here it was romantically though someone's going to get a message and find out someone was lying somebody has somebody over their house they were hoping paying for spell work of some sort would help them not get caught but they've been caught with the eight of swords or you will be catching them it's been slowly coming the more you pay attention, the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. So you already know these persons, these people. It's time to put an ending to this situation. The universe says go ahead and release it. They've been taking up too much of your attention and energy. Okay. Someone's been blocking your intuition using spell work. Okay. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine energy. I've got Cancer, Heavy. This person uh, also could have legal issues going on. They're not telling the truth about their money. What does my collective need to retain? What's necessary for them to keep for continual growth? What's necessary for my collective to retain? What's necessary for them to keep for continual growth? We have the Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Somebody, uh, someone has a karmic, could be a Leo, doesn't have to be. It's the sun card in reverse and the queen of wands. You're not walking away from this person. Eight of cups in reverse, queen of cups in reverse. You know this female is emotionally manipulative, but you don't let it bother you. You kind of know the relationship isn't going anywhere. So you carry yourself like you're single until this person brings up enough confrontation that you're going to go ahead and go in the direction where you're motivated, basically. You know this situation isn't working for you. So the universe says if you go ahead and take a leap of faith and go into a different direction, listen to your inner child and that'll that'll guide you. Your inner child needs you to um, bring it some justice, balance, truth, honesty and clarity. Somebody's inner child needs some love so you can get out of this confrontational drama field household and environment. So what is it that you need to retain? The energy that you need to retain. Page of Pentacles. Retain the energy of starting a new health routine or project. Someone has a vision and they know the beginning stages can be frustrating. Listen to your intuition to guide you. So Retain the job or business opportunity or idea that you've been developing over this time. Keep working with focus because you are making progress. Take action on your ideas without rushing. And then we have the eight of swords. An energy that you need to retain. Eight of swords. Whenever you are feeling trapped in a situation, you need to retain the fact that you're not in alignment with your path. And that means you need to begin to release yourself. You do not have to struggle alone. Someone is holding on to an idea that has them in spiritual jail. Someone has them in an idea that is has an idea created some type of idea environment that has them stuck so if that's you have hope 
maybe you need to see a priest of some sort and speak up about whatever situations that you have going on that has you um trying to sneak away from a karmic to heal you don't have to sneak away just speak up whoever it's a masculine energy in a relationship a new relationship but somebody's always the blame for why something didn't end properly that's a leftover energy that is not i don't like it what's the seven of swords There's an Aquarius juggling. They're trying to maintain stability financially, but it's hard because they, they're they lying about their responsibilities. Ten of Wands, they're very stressed out and have a lot of emotional baggage. Clarify the Seven of Swords. So if you're an Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, or Sagittarius, and you are dealing with an Aquarius, male or female, you need to go ahead and stand up to this person and stop accepting their baggage. The King of Pentacles is a leader, a stand up leader, it takes care of the community in the upright or just their home base, period. Husband material and overall a good person. So if you know you've gotten judgment in reverse, a situation isn't over, you got off of your path because you got the negative energy from someone else, someone else's karma. And their relationship that they're in with the two of cups and four of cups in reverse, speak up that you're emotionally detaching. You're putting it to rest with the four of swords. Okay, collective. So if your name starts with the B as in boy, or you're dealing with someone with the name B as in boy, now is the time for you to heal with the star card and the empress card. Even as a man, you still have to balance your divine feminine and divine masculine energies, okay? We have the four of pentacles. Try to save your money as much as possible. Don't splurge. And if you're a divine feminine, be creative. Be very creative with how you allow people to communicate with you. There aren't any more secrets. You have the moon in reverse and the eight of wands. Everybody knows who's the empress, the real empress and the star card. And they're holding on to that person. Someone does need to take time to self-reflect with the moon in reverse and practice meditation and self-care. Okay, collective, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.